Hi guys, welcome to another book talk with Livingston Parish Library. My name is Danielle. I am the Youth Services Manager at the Gem Springs Walker Branch. So today's book talk is going to be all about fantasy retellings. Retellings are so popular right now. I feel like it's been one of the biggest publishing trends, especially in YA for a while. There's lots of different types of retellings. You can have one that's pretty similar to the original story. You can have a prequel. You can have one that just takes bits and pieces of it and creates a whole new story, sort of like a reimagining. So all of these terms like retellings, fractured fairy tales, twisted fairy tales, reimaginings, they all kind of mean the same thing, that we have taken bits and pieces of our favorite stories and created something new with them. Today I'm specifically going to be talking about some amazing YA and middle grade books that are fantasy retellings of some of the classic fairy tales that we know and love. Today just think of me as your fairy librarian. Bippity boppity books. Why is this so fun? The first book I wanna to bring to you today is our 2020 teen community read. So through this virtual summer reading program, you can read this book and you can get extra badges and tickets to win prizes. This book is actually the first book that she ever wrote and it wasn't getting published. So she put it on the back burner and started publishing other books. Well, now it is the time for this book to shine. It is called Wicked As You Wish by Ren Chepeco. Wicked As You Wish is basically a mashup of all of our favorite fairy tales and myths and folklores and legends. So the world is kind of similar to our own, except it's the Royal States of America, and they have all of these other fantastical worlds, such as Avalon and Wonderland and Neverland. Many years ago, the Snow Queen waged war on Avalon and encased the whole kingdom in ice. And the prince is the sole survivor of the royal family. And he has fled with his friends and moved to the least magical place in their world, Arizona. That is until a magical creature of legend is seen for the first time in decades, the Firebird. Newt Scamander must have showed up with his magical briefcase of Fantastic Beasts. So with the sassy firebird in tow, the prince and his best friend Tala and a ragtag group of friends that they met are going to go back to Avalon to take back his throne and defeat the Snow Queen. The author does a great job of blending our history with the fairy tales history and blending them together. She would drop in little tales and stories from fairy tale history, like um, a fight between Peter Pan and Hook that led to the destruction of Neverland and the creation of this like giant desert. It's really cool how she blended our world with the fairy tale world. This is definitely for fans of fantasy and classic fairy tales. And really anyone who just wants to immerse themselves in the world of retellings, this is your book. The next book on our list today is the first book in a new YA series called The Blood of Stars. It's basically Mulan meets Project Runway, but then it turns into this giant epic quest of a book. It is called Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. Spin the Dawn is about a girl named Maya Tamarin who dreams of being the greatest tailor in the land, but she's a girl. In their world, Tailors are only men. So when her very sick father gets an invitation for a competition to find the new royal tailor, Maya jumps at the chance to help her father and also make a name for herself. So she chops off her hair, she disguises herself as her brother, and she enters this competition at the palace to become the next royal tailor. When she gets there, she's desperate to keep her secret and she realizes that backstabbing and lies and secrets run rampant with all of these tailors and they will do anything to win. She also catches the eye of the king's magician, which is called an enchanter, and he just may know her secret. It turns out that the king's new bride-to-be does not want to be there. So she sends Maya on this insane quest to craft three dresses. One made out of the sun, one made out of the moon, and one made out of the stars. It's basically impossible. Or is it? 
At the beginning, you definitely see the influences of Mulan and Project Runway, but then the whole book changes into this giant epic quest, and it's filled with so much Chinese culture and magic, and it's just a really fun fantasy retelling of Mulan. There's a second book coming out this summer called Unravel the Dusk. I could literally cry. These covers are so pretty. The next book on our list was actually written by an actor from Glee. So it's a middle grade series called The Land of Stories. And the first book is called The Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer. On their 12th birthday, twins Alex and Connor receive a book from their grandmother. She tells them that it's been in their family for a long, long time, but they soon find out that it's not a normal book. When Alex falls into the book, Connor jumps in after her and they realize that they are in the land of stories. They finally find out what happens after Happily Ever After. It's not all that great. As they are trying to find their way back home, they're gathering all of these magical items in order to perform the wishing spell, which will get them out of the land of stories back home. And as they're trying to find their way home, they're meeting all of these characters from these classic fairy tale stories, witches and wolves and trolls and goblins, and it's an adventure. Story is super imaginative. It's a lot of fun. It's fast paced. It's definitely for fans of the Harry Potter and Percy Jackson and all of those things, but it just has that fun fairy tale twist. And if you listen to the audiobook, Chris Colfer, the writer and the actor from Glee, reads it or narrates it, and it's really cool. There's six books in this series, so the fun will keep going, and he also has a new series set in the same world called A Tale of Magic. The last book on our list today is written by the author of The Lunar Chronicles. So if you don't know about The Lunar Chronicles, it's a YA series that is a sci-fi retelling of some of our famous fairy tales. So the first one, Cinder, is basically a Cinderella cyborg. And they have other um, characters like Rapunzel and Snow White and Little Red Riding Hood that like pop up. But it's a space-themed uh, science fiction book. So I didn't want to add it in this video. I wanted to feature her other book, which is a YA fantasy retelling about the Queen of Hearts. It's called Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Long before she was a terror in Wonderland, she was just a girl who wanted to bake things and fall in love. Catherine is a young baker who just wants to open up a bakery with her best friend, but she cannot do that because she is desired by the King of Hearts, and girls who are meant to be queen cannot do normal people things. When she meets a mysterious court jester, she realizes that love might just be worth fighting for. But in a world where women have little say in what they want and where magic and madness and mayhem follows everywhere, fate just might have a different story. I love how magical and whimsical and wacky this book is and I really love retellings that focus on the villain and show you how they got to that point or sometimes you'll have retellings that show you that the whole story was wrong and the villains actually the good guy those are fun you will see some characters that you know and love you might have a tea party with a mad hatter but I will let you know a few things don't go into this book hungry it will make you want all of the delicious treats. And since this is a prequel, and we all know what happens to the Queen of Hearts, beware. And that's it for the books that your fairy librarian has for you today. I am going to leak a poster that has more YA and middle grade fairy tale books on it of all different kinds. Don't forget to sign up for our virtual summer reading program online and log all of your videos and books. Anytime you watch a virtual summer reading program, we will give you a code word that you can log into Beanstack and you can get your badge for watching this video. Also, at the end of summer, if you watch every video, you can unscramble the words and create a phrase. And then you can put that into Beanstack as well for another badge. So this week's code word is stay where.
Keep following along with our videos for our 2020 virtual summer reading program. And until next time, happy reading.